Welcome back this morning to Public Affairs on Peach. I'm Karen Greer and we're celebrating Red Cross Month by examining how much the organization helps blood donations. The American Red Cross supplies about 40% of the nation's blood. Mario Sedlock joins us now to talk about that. And last year, I understand that the uh, Southern Blood Services region collected more than 220 pints of blood. That sounds like a lot. So who uses all of this blood? Well, um, if it is a lot of blood, and um, it's important that people know that every two seconds, somebody in the United States needs a blood transfusion. So blood and platelets are used for a number of reasons. Uh, some of those being um, heart surgeries, um, accident victims, uh, burn victims, leukemia, cancer patients, and also sickle cell disease um, are all um, situations where people could have a need for blood. Now, Mario, you brought up something important, the blood donations, or they can do platelets. What's the difference between the two? Okay, well, um, the blood donation is the most common type of donation that we have, uh, during which a person donates a pint of blood, and then that blood is then separated into three transfusable products, which allows it then to save up to three lives. Mm. Um, that donation takes about an hour, and a person can donate whole blood every 56 days. Now, platelet donation is a process in which a person is uh, connected to an apheresis machine where platelets and some of their plasma is taken from them, and then we return the red cells and the majority of their plasma back to them. Wow. Now, that process takes approximately two to three hours, but a person can do that every seven days. And I think what's important to know is that um, blood donors um, are not all eligible to do platelets, but all platelet donors can donate um, whole blood. And Mario, in this day and time with the fast phones, fast cars, fast everything, people say, I don't have time to donate. What else can they do to help you? Well, it's essential that people know that um, we need blood donors each and every day, that um, donated blood is perishable. Uh, red blood cells have a shelf life of 42 days and platelets only five days. So we need generous blood donors every day to come in to help replenish the supply. Um, on a real positive note though, we have implemented something we call Rapid Pass, which saves time for donors and allows them to complete their questionnaire online, uh, to also uh, read through the materials that they typically are given at a blood drive. And this saves them up to 15 minutes uh, when they come in to donate blood. It, it has to be done the day of the blood drive, but also it can be done though before they get there. Now if I remember correctly, there were some old rules as to who could give blood. All of that is changing as well too, if you've been out of the country and, and all of that, right? Yes, um, that continues to change and we will always follow guidance from the FDA and the AABB, which is the two um, organizations that help to govern uh, blood donations. And, um, and we will continue to just always uh, work toward making sure that the blood, si so blood supply is as safe as possible. Absolutely, now we talked about people who want to get an organization to get mm -hmm. together to do a blood drive. I know my son's school, St. Pius mm -hmm. the 10th, yes. has a huge drive for you guys. You said one of the largest. Yes, one of the largest in the Atlanta area for our high schools, um, a great blood drive. And 80% of all of the blood that's collected with the American Red Cross is handled through blood drives such as St. Pius and volunteer sponsor groups. And so we're always looking for new people to get involved and to help us. And it's very easy. You call, you can set it up and, you know, get some folks to help you make it successful because that's what's important. Get people signed up ahead of time to participate. Absolutely. Um, when a volunteer sponsor um, does a blood drive, they work with a Red Cross representative to help to ensure that we provide the blood to our area hospitals. Uh, but if somebody's interested in hosting a blood drive, all they have to do is call 1-800-RED-CROSS or visit redcrossblood.org. We'll make sure we put all that on our website for everyone, but this is really important. I don't think folks realize a car accident, something as simple as that, mm -hmm. a kid falling from a bike, uh, just any kind of traumatic accident bring, brings that need for blood even closer. Sure, we never know when that's gonna happen, and um, we just can't take for granted that the blood's always gonna be available. Uh, we work hard with our volunteer blood donors and sponsor groups to ensure that that takes place, but it is something that we have to continue to work at every day and you want it there for you or your loved ones when they need it. Absolutely. So much good information and we will make sure folks get out, give blood. It's a lot easier, it doesn't hurt, you know, and you, you get a little snack afterwards, right? Well, uh, <laughs> we call it a little pinch and uh, the good news is that afterwards, where can you go where you enjoy something that you do, feel good about after you do it and have some cookies and juice afterwards. You've been there for how long now, 20 years? 20 years with Red Cross. Have you seen things change in how people are realizing the need to give blood? Um, I think people's time is more challenging than ever before. Um, I think we, over the years, have 
just realized that le less and less people are eligible now because we do continue to take um, the steps necessary to ensure that the blood is safe and that it's safe not only for the donor but also for the patient. And that's really our most important focus is to ensure that whatever we do, we provide an adequate and safe blood supply for those in need. Well, we love all the work that you do. Thank you so much, Mario. Appreciate your time. Thank you. And don't go anywhere. We're going to talk about the fire safety things in your home that you need to really be on top of. That's right after the break. You're watching Public Affairs on Peach.